Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a Logic X tutorial video on ADSR Sound. So it's going to be a short video. We're going to look at some tips and tricks inside of the piano roll or the MIDI editor inside of Logic X that will make editing things a lot quicker. All right, so there are a couple things or pitfalls that you'll 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 kind of find yourself uh, stumbling into when you're working with the uh, piano or MIDI inside of Logic. And if you're playing on an actual keyboard, it's really hard to get the note endings and the note lengths perfect. So I have a bass progression right here in this red that we're going to play. And you can see that I have some overhang on some of the notes. I have some gaps, right? So we're going to listen to this. I mean, it's not bad in this instance, but let's say one was hanging back there and one was hanging back there. You're going to have space in the between the bass progression. Right, so let's say you didn't want that. Let's say you want everything to be the exact same length. Well, instead of going in and editing each one independently, imagine if you're working with chords or strings or anything with a lot more MIDI information, not just a bass line. Uh, it can be really tedious. So if you hit Command A, hold down Option and Shift at the same time with your main cursor, the little arrow, and then with those two keys held, Option and Shift, adjust the length, let up on your mouse, keep holding the keys, and then let up. And now all of these are the exact same length. All right, so let's look at another tip and trick that you can use. So let's say I played this in manually um, and I have different velocities, right? Because it can be hard when you're playing in real time to get the velocities just how you want it. It can get close. You know, let's say I, I, I want that to be a little bit different or whatever. But now let's say there's an instance where you want, where it's not a velocity sensitive patch, let's say, or you don't want to use the velocity sensitive patch. You just want to use it at full velocity. Maybe it's opening up the cutoff or some other effect inside the synth or instrument. Well, instead of going in and changing all these manually, you can hit Command A, hold down Escape on your, key, on your keyboard. Mine looks a little bit weird because of the skin that I'm using. But uh, if you choose nine for the velocity tool, and then hold down Option, and shift with the velocity tool selected. You'll notice that my mouse has the V by it. I'm going to change this to full velocity. And you'll notice it changed every MIDI element or, or MIDI note inside the piano roll. All right, so it's a lot quicker than going in and changing things manually. And the last thing I wanted to look at was a uh, MIDI editing view. So I personally don't like, I like a lot of things about the, the piano roll inside of Logic, but I wish it could, you could actually define scales a lot easier. And there's a button here that um, I don't know if a lot of people use. It's called collapse mode. It's kind of like the fold mode in Ableton, except you can't create user definable folding modes. But um, if you collapse, this will do is it'll show only the notes that are active in the regions that you highlight. So if I have a full production going with chords and everything, and I want to mess around with inversions, this is a really easy way to do it. Um, and I know this mode, I, I haven't used it a lot. I've started using it more because it's really nice to kind of mess around with things. But the cool thing is it tells you the note names. When you're not on the fold or the collapse mode, it's just all the C keys. So again, if you had actual chords here and you wanted to mess around with inversions, but you also wanted to see where your other regions were, you can actually see that information in the track. And now it's kind of cool. You can actually, um, right now it's just a mess of all red notes because they're all the same velocity. But what you can do is you can actually, you can actually color code these by, by the region. So if we go to view here and we go to set note color we can do by velocity or by midi channel or by region color so in my track here we can then see it's pretty cool to edit if these are actually chords once you have your velocities all set up i can go to collapse mode and then i can just go to view or i don't have to be in collapse mode i can just be in regular mode but i can color code these things so now i know that these are my lead notes these are my bass notes because i've color coded them on the actual track themselves so you can see how that'd be helpful if you're working with chord stacks, inversions, and all that sort of stuff. It's a nice way to see everything in your piano roll, in the MIDI editor, in Logic X without having to go back and forth too much. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.